Welcome back to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Today I'm in Utah at the Great Salt Lake, specifically Antelope Island State Park. This is Travel Vlog 75. Don't go anywhere. So I came out to Utah to do some skiing. Uh, the weather report was calling for blue sky Tuesday and Wednesday. Snowstorm ended up coming through, so I delayed my skiing until tomorrow. So I needed something to do today, and I looked at Google Maps, and here is this Antelope Island State Park, just like 40 minutes from my hotel. It's right on the Great Salt Lake. I see a bunch of bison walking around. I'm gonna try and get some footage of that. And uh, apparently it's not an island any longer because the water level has receded a bit. But man, check out how beautiful this is. And the blue sky is starting to peek through, so this is going to be a fun day. Thanks for watching. Antelope Island State Park is the largest island in the Great Salt Lake. Artifacts reveal prehistoric people inhabited the island more than 6,000 years ago. It offers camping, wildlife viewing, hiking, horseback riding, and mountain biking. Antelope Island is home to free-roaming herds of bison, bighorn sheep, mule deer, and pronghorn antelope. Bison are the island's most famous residents. Twelve animals were introduced to the island in 1893 and were the foundation for today's herd. The island's namesake, pronghorn antelope, are native to Utah and to the island. These small, deer-like animals are the fastest animals in North America and can reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Like all other animals on the island, they roam freely and can be seen at various locations throughout the year. Mule deer and California bighorn sheep are the other large herbivores on the island. Predators include coyotes, bobcats, badgers, and numerous birds of prey such as owls, hawks, and falcons. So this morning as I was leaving my hotel, I said to the lady at the front desk, I said, hey, you want to come to Antelope Island State Park with me? And she looks at me so confused, she goes, what is there to do there? And I said, uh, I don't know, I'm hiking and some animals um, roaming around and whatnot. And she was so confused, like, why would I go look at animals outside in the wintertime? <laughs> 
but this is exactly why I love exploring. This place is sweet. The lake, the beach, the hiking trails, the sun even popped out. Uh, bison and antelope and all kinds of cool stuff roaming around. So let's keep on exploring and see what else we can find. The Great Salt Lake is the largest natural lake west of the Mississippi River. On average, the Great Salt Lake is 75 miles long by 28 miles wide. At this level, maximum depth is only about 33 feet. Water flows into the lake from four river drainages, carrying 2.2 million tons of minerals into the lake each year. The Great Salt Lake has no outlet. Water leaves only through evaporation. Because of this, high concentrations of minerals are left behind. Salinity is too high to support fish and most other aquatic species. However, brine shrimp, brine flies, and several types of algae thrive in the lake and are primary food sources for millions of migrating birds. Nearly 80% of Utah's wetlands surround Great Salt Lake making its ecosystem one of the most important resources in North America for migratory and nesting birds. The area hosts 250 bird species each year. The lake and its marshes provide resting, nesting, and staging areas for birds. Oolitic sand is a unique feature of the Great Salt Lake. These round grains of sand are formed when mineral grains or brine shrimp fecal pellets are coated by concentric layers of aragonite, a form of calcium carbonate. This is similar to how pearls are formed. The oldest rocks on Antelope Island are some of the oldest found anywhere in Utah. The Farmington Canyon complex, at 1.7 billion years old, is the same age as rocks found at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. So this is pretty sweet. Apparently there are some campsites right here. Lady Finger sites one through five. So let's walk up here really quick and see if I can show them to you. They are right on the lake, which is pretty sweet. All these mountains in the background. Um, there are some restrooms up here. All right, one through three, four and five. Let's see how big they are. Obviously, they're going to be uh, like tent camping sites. Let's just go check out site number one here. Nice sandy surface I'm walking on. Site number one. Looks like we got a picnic table and uh, maybe a pad for the tent. But you gotta check out this view. It's beautiful. I saw it at the front. I believe the campsites are 20 bucks a night. I'll, I'll double check that and um, add some text to the video. But there we go. Site number one. Pretty sweet. This place is amazing. Had so much fun today. Check it out. There's a bison right back there. Even though this isn't what I had planned, sometimes the universe has other plans and it seemed to work out amazing this time. But uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.